So let's go check the tarot again. Excited to do this for you. Remember to take whatever words and images I share with you and interpret them um, to your situation. And maybe this very predictable general reading uh, can actually be part of your world, right? Um, come on, let's go. Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus. This is a love reading. It is for adults only. It is for entertainment only. Let's take a look at love, Capricorn. It feels like it wants to be there. We're going to do three readings in this, or three spreads in this reading. There you are. Except you're upside down. <laughs> this is your, this is you. This will be your love interest. Who you have a crush on. If you don't have anybody, this could be incoming energy. <clears throat> so we'll go through these, then we'll add another card on top of each a few times to get some groovy details. So Capricorn, these two, first two cards will represent you, the challenge, the door to the future, the bridge, and the most probable outcome. Starting off with that Five of Swords, so maybe you've recently dumped somebody, or you've been dumped, or maybe you're currently involved with the Gemini Aquarius Libra. Regardless, there's slow, there's slouch shoulders, right? There's walking away, this conflict of sorts, and it's left you uneasy when your Queen of Pentacles is reversed. It means you're just not quite yourself right now. I mean, a lot of us aren't, <laughs> but yours is more so because of the end of a relationship. Three of Wands reversed. Hmm. Staying in your comfort zone, making unwise decisions, lack of ambition, which is so unusual for Capricorn. Maybe your last love just wasn't healthy and now you're getting Stella got her groove back. <laughs> is that where we're headed here, Capricorn? Stella gets her groove back. I think so. I think yes. How Stella got her groove back. I was just having a conversation with my mom about a few people we know who are divorcing right now and they've been together for over 20 years, both people, both couples. And it seems to be um, that the, you know, love, love, people grow and shift and divorce is allowed it's allowed and you hold a healing space for yourself during that time if you just can't see a future with that person and then you watch yourself grow and fly and rise like a sorceress you know like you're allowed to grow and shift and change and if your partner isn't keeping up and if you've held healing space for your partner and they aren't interested then it's time to move along and it's okay, and there doesn't have to be hurt, was the point of our conversation. <clears throat> and this is how Stella got her groove back here. So the Ace of Pentacles is the beginning of a new you. <laughs> could that be, like, you, that's just, you can't resist that. It could be a new job, which means new friends, which means new love, new opportunities, new establishments new relationships but Capricorn claim that and move into it because you're getting your groove back most probable outcome is this seven of Pentacles which is somebody else who is long-term investment not the one who left you like this somebody else look at all your Pentacles trying to get your attention this incoming love is the Ace of Swords. It could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or it could be just saying goodbye to this person who left you with slouched shoulders, right? The 
the Four of Swords reversed. Knowing there is a need for rest, but not taking it. Low self-esteem. I feel like this is the person you've just ended your relationship with, or they've ended it with you. You guys are learning how to part ways. Because look at this Two of Wands. Crossroads come. So you meet this new person. And this is you saying goodbye to, look at, you're saying goodbye to the past before turning forward as are they, the new love. They're saying goodbye to the past too and then looking forward. Mm, yes, they're looking at the Capricorn. <laughs> Yay, this is turning into be a good reading. I like it when this happens. So then we have the Nine of Wands reversed as their most probable outcome. <clears throat> you are this huge catalyst for this new love. Are you willing to step into that role, right? So the Nine of Wands reversed is, um, this person is learning how to trust you because they've been taken advantage of a lot of times in their life. So now they're looking at you in a very healthy seduction and they want you to step up to the plate in a healthy way. This is what this is. They need that. Now, are you up for that? Are you up for their spiritual expansion? Are you ready to gain some karmic points? Maybe. Let's keep going. I'm going to shuffle these in and see. Just heard the name Harry. <laughs> Harry and Fiona, Kyla, oh my god, I'm getting a bunch of names here, Deandra, Kara, Holly, Michael, Arthur, Yeah, okay, let's do this. Do you see the story forming? Are you using your intuition with me and seeing this story form that's coming into your future? Lots of emotion. You're honest, right? A humanitarian. So this is you moving into a role where you're helping somebody with their spiritual expansion, which was what we talked about. This new incoming love, not only are you getting, learning how to get your groove back, learning how Stella got her groove back, but this is also them learning to trust you. So you're both going to take a very grounded, reliable, stable position with each other could very well be that there's a Scorpio in this, right? It could be Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius. This is the fighter, Mars. <laughs> Just a little breather from the cards for a moment. Uh, remember to let the sun shine in on you on readings like this. Don't look at it uh, from what you're missing, look at it as something that you can create. And let's go back and finish the read. The Mars card, like I said, this is the fighter, right? Maybe you guys need to each watch your Mars um, sign video because maybe there's a message in there. But regardless, Mars is, Mars is courage and strength and how you bring forward your courage and strength into this relationship. They need you to be this Capricorn. Can you be that to somebody? They need you 
to show a bit more emotion. They need you to be wickedly decisive and breakthrough intelligent. They need you to be their missing information that fills in the holes and to do it very strong, right? Like in a very large capacity that, that is direct and hits in a really beautiful, gorgeous way. They need you to be resilient, just like they're going to be to any outside forces. They're just ending a relationship where they got cheated on, all right? That Cancerian energy is them needing movement. They need you to help them move their life forward. You need them because you need to teach yourself how Stella got her groove back. There you are, giving each other a chance. This could be the one. <clears throat> so we're going to use another deck. This art. This is art that my, my uh, dad has photographed over the last 30 years. And I've taken them and created little spirit animals. So let's get a look. Where we're headed here. The heron proud of yourself time to move now when we look at these three cards together these two are like a couple they both have that stoic energy they both have moved on from this they both are carrying this stoic energy might be a same-sex relationship not necessarily blue parrot and buddy 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 fly hmm, maybe you have a dog named buddy celebration healthy habits time to speak so that queen reversed she's slowly coming around regardless if you're a he or a she it's coming around the blue parrot and the butterfly this could be a tattoo you meet on somebody soon right but there is a very creative conversation that happens that is healthy it's communicative and you make a great decision with this new love community maybe reconsider the bumblebee so coming up under the challenge position so there's a lot of red Mars energy in the fight fight or flight right and the grounded reliable stable committed now do you see how this color coordination goes the red and the orange to the red and the orange to the yellow to the yellow knowing your community with this bumblebee reconsidering where you're at so that you don't lose out on this incoming love The antelope is stubborn. Try seeing a new perspective, being analytical. Those colors go together, don't they? Now, you're, this is you. And this incoming love requires you to have the watery emotion. It's required from them. Are you stepping into that? I don't know. This most probable outcome is two horses. Look at a blonde and a brunette taking care of each other. They're leaning on each other like BFFs, checking in on each other's emotional wellness, which a Scorpio does. Nice. Look at all these turtles. Again, with the community, the peaceful reunion. It won't be easy, but it's going to be worth it, you guys. Okay? The initials WW. The muskox. Emerging from the dark night of the soul. And be with your friends. This incoming love, they've had a sword plunged through their heart. Okay? They've been cheated on in the worst ways possible. Who are you going to be to them? A reindeer, creative lineage, tree of life, possible inventor. 
so you're hooking up with the genius. <laughs> now look at these two are looking over, okay? So there's a lot of thought happening here without movement. So take the plunge. Give the give the chance. Time to slow down with a peaceful partner. And this is how this new incoming love looks at you, the Capricorn. A peaceful partner. They're ready for you. Right? And, and we end this reading with the peacock, which is rejuvenation and dreaming big. Are you going to dream big, Capricorn? Because you better. <laughs> You better. It's, I'm putting that on you to dream big. And I hope I see you again. <laughs>